Big Geeks, my name is Kelly Dell, and I'm owner of Off the Beaded Path. Welcome back to the next installment of our Technique video series. We are working out of the Mastering Beadwork book by Carol Seifer. We have been given permission by her to use this. Um, and today, I'm going to be teaching you the project on page 82, which is this beautiful net stitch bracelet. So, as you can see today, you're going to learn how to do net stitch. But, to do the project, you're going to need three or four real quick things that you, I know you probably have around your bead table, because I just looked and I had tons of this. So, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a size 8 seed bead. You can use a size 8 or a size 6 seed bead, and that is going to be your color A. Your color B is going to be a size 11 seed bead. And then your color C is going to be a 4 millimeter bicone crystal. Now, you can use... Um, the pattern calls, I think, for 40, but I have a little bit bigger wrist, so I put out 50. So you may need more, you may need less. Um, now, if you want to do a beaded bead toggle, like the author suggests, you're going to need some drop beads also. Um, but we'll get more into that as you go. Also, you're going to need some fire line. I'm specifically going to specifically going to be using a four pound fire line you're more than welcome to use a six or an eight pound whatever is easiest for you and you're going to need a needle so let's get your materials together and let's get started now that you have your supplies ready we're start we're good to start for today i'm going to use a size eight metallic gold iris seed bead a size 11 galvanized gold seed bead and i've got 54 millimeter Crystal Golden Flare Preciosa Bicones. So, to get started, and I have mine laid out A, B, and C as so, and you, that may help you also. But I'm going to pick up a B, one C, one B, then I'm going to have two A, one B, 1C, 1B, 3A, and 3B. These very last three Bs are going to be what's called the peacoat, and you'll see what that is. It says, I'm going to pass back through the last A bead. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here so you can start seeing what I'm doing. So I have my three B's here. These are the last three that I added. So I'm going to hold these in place and I'm going to slide it down and I want to leave myself about a 12 inch tail so that I can go back and add my closure. And I'm going to take these three beads and slide them back a little bit. And I'm going to go through the last A that I added. And I'm going to go back towards my tail. And when you pull, just be careful not to pull your beads off. Because we don't have anything holding our tail on yet. Holding our beads on our tail. And you basically want those three beads to form a little triangle here that's called your peacoat. I'm going to pick up two A's, one B, one C, and one B, and then two A. And the directions tell me to pass back through the corresponding B, C, B of the previous row, which simply means I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to come through the very first B, C, and B that I added in the previous step. And again, I'm going to be working back towards the tail. So that when I pull, that is what we have so far. It says pick up 3A 
and 3B. I'm going to let those drop. And it says to pass back through the last A bead, which in this case will be this one here, the one right before my gold. And I'm going to go back up going towards the top. And again, you want your three beads here on the end to form a little pea coat or a little triangle of beads. So we have that thus far. And it says repeat step two until the ends meet around the wrist. So step two was we're going to do 2A, 1B, 1C, and 1B. Then we're going to do 2A. Pass through the corresponding B, C, B of the previous row. So right now, my thread is exiting here. I'm going to take and I'm going to come straight up through the B, C, and B that is closest because I'm working out this way here. So I'm going to go through the closest one, which would be that one, and pull the thread. So that now I have another loop of beads there. And then I'm going to pick up 3A and 3B. Let those drop down. I'm going to skip my three B's and I'm going to come back down or up through the way you're seeing it through the last A that I threaded on so that gives me my next little pea coat and then I'm just going to keep repeating this step doing 2A 1B 1C 1B and then 2A. I'm going to come through the closest B, C, B of the previous step, which are these three beads here. My thread's coming out this way, so I'm going to continue this way. Basically, you're just going to be doing a zigzag. You're going to be going up and then down, up and then down the whole bracelet. And then I'm going to do 3A and 3B. Let those drop down. Skip the 3B. Go back through the first A. Or, I'm sorry, the last A that I just added. And then I'm back to the repeat with 2A. 1B, 1C, 1B, and 2A. And let those drop down. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go through the B, C, and B of the previous step. So I'm going to go straight through those three that I added in the last step. And then I'm going to pick up 3A, 3B, 3 let those drop down, I'm going to skip the 3A, or I'm sorry, the 3B, and I'm going to come through the last A that I just added. And then you're just going to continue that until the ends meet on your wrist.